In our previous video tutorial we covered the topic, how you can design your quotation. Today we will elaborate about contract document. This video tutorial will be divided in two parts. First part will cover in general definition and second part is dedicated to detailed point wise synopsis of what is to be written in the contract document. Please note in this context we are only talking about contract document in between the client and the designer. So without further ado let's begin. What is a contract? It is a document made between two or more parties who mutually agree a process to be executed with certain terms and conditions. It is a formal document and can be used legally to safeguard one's interests if either of the signing parties fail to do their part of roles and responsibilities. This helps the party at loss to dissolve the contract with termination clauses involved. What are the types of contract? In particular about the field of interior design there are only three types of contracts 1. Contract between the client and the designer. 2. Contract between the client and the contractor, vendor. 3. Contract between the designer and the contractor, vendor. We will cover all three in three separate videos. This video mainly focuses on contract between the client and the designer. When is a contract signed? When a client shortlists a designer on the basis of his or her merits and skills. They both mutually decide the scope of work for the proposed interior design project. After approval of the quotation designed by the designer on the basis of final scope of work, the client and the designer enter into a contractual agreement. This document is known as the contract or contract of engagement or registration document. Why is the agreement necessary for the client and the designer? A contract document assures the rights and reservations of either of the signing parties. A contract document safeguards the interests of either of the signing parties in the event of any difference of opinions or disputes that can result in termination of contract between the two. It also highlights on terms and conditions limitations if any, do's and don'ts and roles and responsibilities of either of the signing parties. What should be written in the contract agreement? Final scope of work. Sequence of work. Quotation of the designer, rough estimate. Letter of appointment. Specification of materials, detailed list. Vendors and contractor engagement clauses. Site limitations, if any, are to be highlighted. Roles and responsibilities of the client. Roles and responsibilities of the designer. Do's and don'ts for the client. Final professional fees and stages of payment. Site visit schedule. Clauses of termination. Validity of the contract agreement. Each of the highlight points mentioned in this can be variable due to various factors like type of the design project. For example, if the project is end-to-end -end turnkey solution or a partial consultation service. Thank you friends for watching this video tutorial. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. To Design Space India. Your own channel which offers the vital information which is absolutely free about the tips and tricks in interior design. Now you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram find links of the same in the description box below. Leave your feedback in the comments section. If you want any specific topics to be addressed then mention in the comments or you may write to us at info.designspaceindia at gmail.com. We will definitely come up with a nice tutorial for that. This is a humble effort to bring the ethical practices with unbiased opinions through this channel for both the clients and the designers. Stay tuned as our next topic will unfold more about clauses in contract document. See you next time.